it's Devin here with Tenacity Ag. Today we're going to show you guys a demonstration, just a brief overview demonstration of the new XAG P150. So we've got the drone in the back of the truck here and we've got our new controller. So the P150 does have a new controller from XAG. This is the SRC4 controller. So now we have the built-in screen, um, different communication infrastructure. So it should be better camera communication quality, which will be nice with this drone a longer connection range, hopefully. So with that, uh, we'll get this drone out of the pickup here and unload it and get it set up, show you guys how it is to set up. So even though this drone is over 300 pounds fully loaded, you can handle it by, with one person. So it's gonna be pretty easy to set up We'll just unlock these arms like that, open up the arm latches, and then we'll take these foam propeller holders off. So XAG does have a fold up spray boom. Um, so you can fold those up for transport or when you're spreading, they fold up and out of the way, which is nice. So they don't break or anything or get hit. So they just clip off like that. And then you tighten up this screw in the back here. And there is a line that you match up on the back of the nozzle here to get it in the proper position. One other nice thing with the XAG nozzles is the rubber breakaway point on the nozzle. <clears throat> These are 60 inch propeller blades on the P150. So there you go, pretty quick setup time, pretty simple to unfold it. So now that we have the drone set up, we'll get some batteries and put those in there and power them up. So the P150 is a dual battery system. You can run that on one battery with a reduced payload if you need to. Batteries slide in nice, nice and easy. They clip in um, and it is nice that these batteries are in the middle. For center of gravity for the drone, this is really the best place to have your batteries. So we'll just push and hold the power button to fire it up. and it's gonna beep and flash the blue lights for a few seconds as it does the boot up sequence. So now we'll move over to the controller and show how to set up a field quickly. So I'll turn my screen recording on on the controller so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so on the screen here, you can see I have the drone location and the blue dot, which is my location of the controller. So. On the main screen here, we have operation and mapping down in the bottom right hand corner. If we hit mapping, this is how we can quickly build a field just by dropping points like this. Um, auto close that field. We can also build obstacles, no spray areas, marker points, and operation points with that. And operation points are for spot spraying. We're just going to clear this since we already have a field built here. And we'll go back home and then we're going to go to operation. And since we're already in an operation from before, we'll have to terminate the operation. And we want to do a new operation. So it's asking us to select a field to do an operation on. So I'll just select this field here and I will confirm that I, I want to restart the operation and not resume. All right, so it pulled up the routes here now. And if we go into operation settings, this is where all of our settings will be. So we have our dosage and our droplet size here. We're set at 400 microns right now. It can go as high as 1500 microns and as low as 100 or 80, depending on your flow rate. We'll just put it at 350 and we're going to do three gallons per acre here. 
we could set it to spray while it turns around in this menu. And in this menu, we have our operation route. So one key differentiator with XAG and other brands is there's an operation route and there's an approaching route. The operation route is the route inside of the field and the approaching route is the route to and from the field. So if we zoom in on the approaching route here, we can edit the safety points of the approaching route and add in certain points where we want it to go. Also, one thing to note, the approaching route is at a different height and speed than your operation route. So in this case, we're underneath some wires here for our approaching route. So we'll want to make sure that that's plenty low, like eight feet. And we'll just run at full speed. And then in our operation route, we're gonna be 15 feet high and 40.3 miles per hour for both of those. We also have a route direction and our spacing. We'll just leave it at 26 feet. You can change your route direction to whatever angle you wish. Um, we'll just hit this icon up in the top right. That will set it to what the drone thinks is the most efficient angle. In our sensor settings, we'll leave the terrain following all on. We have to, options to disable terrain following. We can do all on, approaching route only, or operation route only. I'm just kind of scrolling through the settings here so you can see that there's quite a few different settings in this drone. We'll probably go into each one of them a little bit more deeper in, in another video. So before we start the operation, it gives us our estimated acreage and gallons that we're going to need to do this operation. And we do have a couple of warnings in the top left here. Uh, one of them has to do with the battery not being the right model for this drone. So we are using an older model battery today and also the temperature is a little bit low today so it's going to give us a low battery temp warning. With that we'll put some water in the drone and do a little spraying demo. One thing I'll talk about a little bit is the chargers for the P150. So this is a new style charger from XAG. It's an evaporative cooler so it's going to use the water in the charger here and blow it through the battery for some really fast cooling. I do think this is the best battery cooler on the market right now. And you're going to want three chargers. We recommend three chargers with per drone and eight batteries. And this is a, a regular end, just like what would go into a DJI charger. So you're going to want three chargers per drone. Each charger is 3,500 watts, running watts per charger. So the total watts that you're going to need is um, 10,500 running watts to run one drone and each charger is 16 amps as well so you'll need 48 amps so now that we went over that our drone's ready to go i'm going to turn the screen recording on again so you guys can see uh, what i'm seeing on the screen here and we'll take the drone off and fly back and forth a little bit so you can see on the screen i'm ready to go i've got up at the top i do have gps i'm running the rtk we're using a digifarm um, rtk here with a cores reference so we can use any and trip network with this drone and we are active on rtk you can see we've got 0 0.01 meter accuracy 23 satellites to each antenna so that's good we're at 99 percent on battery we got seven and a half gallons on board and uh, we're gonna hit start operation here in the bottom check these two boxes and slide to take off You can see this drone reacts pretty quickly when it's out in the field. It really doesn't take very long to think about the decisions it's making. It's going to get to the end here and spin around and then spray as it comes back. And you can see it's cooking right along at 40 mile an hour. Here on the screen you can see the camera feed it's pretty clear and not glitchy which is really nice
And now when we want the drone to come home, we can just hit the three dots down on the bottom here and hit RTH. And it's going to stop. And it's going to spin around and come back to us. The XAG drone will not go outside of the field boundary, even if you have an L-shaped field. It's always going to use the approach route to come in and out of the field. All right, so there you go. We just did a short flight spraying some water with the XAG P150. It's pretty cold out here, so we're not gonna spend too much more time out here, but we'll get some more videos when the weather warms up and maybe some shop videos too, showing what the insides are like on the P150 and just get more in depth with it. So thanks everybody for watching.